I'm going to demonstrate installation of a Nortel Millennium desk terminal uh, running software version 1.9 with uh, MM Manager. Okay, now the terminal is calling the manager just to check that the answer supervision works properly. So that worked. Now we go back on hook and we will start the, the download. This uh, this should be calling the manager now, and the download itself will take about four minutes. Now the desk terminal is a little bit different than the other Nortel Millennium terminals in that uh, there are no locks and keys, uh, at least no physical lock and key. So to get back into the terminal after installation, we will need to use a uh, card key and a card key is just a credit card type card programmed with a 10 digit number and um, you can use any um, credit card that you have to for this function um, but in my case i i made a, a test card um, this is the the number um, that MM Manager uses by default for the card key. And I'll show how that works after the terminal installation is complete. The download uh, takes place at 1200 baud <laughs> and uh, each packet is uh, only 256 or 255 bytes long maximum so um, and there's a, a gap of about 100 milliseconds between each packet so uh, it takes quite a while to uh, to download the whole phone the first time especially because it's also updating all the text inside the phone. Oh, and there we go, it's completed. And we go off hook, test, test all the buttons, and then go back on hook. Now we need to use a, um, a credit card to validate that the card reader works. So that works. And install is complete. And now um, normally in a regular Millennium Terminal, you'd lock the housing to finish the install, but in the case of the desk terminal, you press the um, pound key. So that's it. It's uh, it's running, and we, we could do a test call with it. Shouldn't have dialed a one. Uh, it's gonna.
call the manager and get a rating for this call to figure out how much it should cost. Oh, ten dollars. Wow. It's expensive. Okay. So I'm going to use a uh, chip card for this because I don't want to put $10 on my credit card. And this is this is just a milliwatt line and so we can hear that it works. Oh. Now our card is uh, totally depleted. Okay, but it's it's kind of a magic card, so let's stick it back in and uh, oh, now we have thirty four dollars on this card. Cool. Okay, so that's it. Oh, actually, I, I wanted to show one more thing. Um, in order to get back into the Millennium to do any kind of service, uh, we need to type the crass craft uh, access password and put some kind of a pin it could be anything over 50,000 and now we need this key card and so I'm going to use my test card again and now now we're in so that's, uh, that's how it works. Now one thing is we need to get out of this menu, but if we press pound to get out, um, it's gonna reinstall the terminal. So we don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna go through the um, menu and uh, as you can see which, uh, all the options that it has. Oh, actually, maybe we should change the VFD brightness. It's pretty, pretty bright. Let's go to fifty percent. Yeah, that that looks a lot better actually. Okay, so now we can exit. And there it is. It's back in service. And then if, if you want to see how a credit card call will work, I will make a uh, credit card call. This time it's only a dollar. Okay. And this, this call was uh, rated by the set itself. So now I'll stick the card in. It's going to call the manager. Um, it won't really validate the card because the manager doesn't actually do real credit card processing, but the manager will just uh, say that the card is valid and allow the call to go through. Okay, there we go. It's done. That's it. That's the Nortel Millennium Desk Terminal uh, running with uh, the Nortel Millennium Manager called MM Manager, which is available on GitHub. Thanks for watching.